Welcome to SharePoint Mastery Showcase, episode number six, SharePoint End User Certification, with your host, Keith Hudson. At SharePoint Mastery, we help you master SharePoint one step at a time, so you can control your own destiny. Music by Kevin McLeod. In the last few episodes of SharePoint Mastery Showcase, we've been talking about the coming knowledge worker revolution, which will greatly increase productivity among frontline workers. We've also been talking about what is needed for that revolution to take place. It's not enough that SharePoint makes the technology available for frontline workers to streamline and automate their own processes. They must also be rewarded for increasing their productivity and they must be given the training needed to allow them to use SharePoint as a productivity tool. We have said that just as Excel has become a productivity tool used by general knowledge workers and not just IT specialists, SharePoint 2 needs to become a frontline knowledge worker tool. Knowledge workers need to be able to streamline and automate their own processes, and SharePoint makes that fully possible. However, in order for that to come about, we believe that a simple certification method is needed to certify the skills of SharePoint end users. The system needs to be simple to understand and implement, and must catch people's imagination so that it is adopted and implemented widely. Only then can SharePoint no-code solution developer skills become an expected tool in every knowledge worker's toolkit. We think that using a system of colored belts like that used in martial arts or in Lean Six Sigma would be a great way and a simple way to certify different SharePoint skill levels. We envision a white belt being someone with basic SharePoint skills, someone that understands navigation within a SharePoint site, knows what lists and libraries are, knows the difference between a custom list and an out-of-the-box list, understands how to use alerts and tasks, calendars, and more, understands workflows, and understands the difference between MOS and WSS 3.0, and SharePoint Foundation and SharePoint Server 2010. We think a white belt worker needs to understand the difference between a site and a site collection, needs to know how to use views and how to start a workflow. Workers who want to progress in their SharePoint knowledge would then work on their green belt. They should know why not to use spaces when first creating and naming sites and lists. They should know how to create and edit lists and libraries, how to create a choice column and a lookup column, and understand the difference between a lookup column and a choice column. They should understand document libraries and be familiar with the built-in lists. They should understand site columns and know how to create a basic page within SharePoint. They should understand what a web part page is. They should know how to edit the top link bar and the quick launch bar. They should understand the basic SharePoint security model and how to work with it. They should understand content types. They should know how to install SharePoint Designer on their desktop machine and how to create a workflow in SharePoint Designer. They should know how to change the default behavior of new item forms and edit forms. They should know how to handle the title column. They should know how to create a calculated column and how to create formulas in a calculated column. A brown belt candidate should know how to create and administer a site and how to install an admin side site template, how to create and use site templates, how to copy a site template from one site to another, how to use site usage reports and understand what features must be activated on the server and on the site to enable viewing of site usage reports. A brown belt candidate should know how to use InfoPath forms, how to create advanced web part pages, how to create new views, 
and use grouping, filtering, styles, totals, and item limits in views. A brown belt should be able to import a custom web part. To become a black belt, a SharePoint user should know how to create a site collection and why a single purpose site collection is so important because they may need to persuade their SharePoint administrator to create a site collection for them. A black belt should understand object-oriented design, should be able to work through a process where they analyze the stakeholders, objects, data flows, and workflows involved in solving a business process. They should understand the importance of planning before creation. They should understand SharePoint governance and taxonomy. They need to know how to gather requirements. They need to understand the concept of agile development, and they need a grasp of good project management principles. Black Belt should understand site creation self-service, should know how to customize new edit and display forms, and how to build a web part page with the quick launch bar on it. A Black Belt should know how to install and use jQuery, how to use data view web parts, how to create a cascading dropdown, how to use advanced jQuery and advanced links. We at SharePoint Mastery look forward to the development of a widespread, commonly agreed on certification method as simple and easy to understand as the one we have proposed to help fuel the knowledge worker revolution that we know is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us for this episode of SharePoint Mastery Showcase, presented by SharePoint Mastery, where we help you master SharePoint one step at a time so you can control your own destiny. Come visit us at www.spmastery.com 